Greeting my friends from New Jersey, where we're having a wonderful time on the Holy Spirit tour. Um, I've not been able to videotape for you in the car because it's been so busy going from place to place, but happy Saturday. And uh, tonight, brief message before I go to bed. What is the beginning of signs and wonders? I'm going to tell you what I think the beginning of signs and wonders, of functioning in signs and wonders is. It has to do with how much you can see what you want to do in the spirit. In the natural, we can only do what we see. If you turn off all the lights of your room and it's pitch black, there's very little that you can do. You can sit, lie in bed, and you can hear music, or you can talk to God. But in terms of physical things, of grabbing things, uh, adjusting things, putting on clothes, brushing your teeth, going to the bathroom, if everything is pitch black, you're very paralyzed into what you can do. But the more that you can see with your physical eyes, the more that you can do. And it dawned upon me yesterday that when we start seeing, for, for example, when we're gonna pray for a person that is sick, I used to just put my hands on the person, but if we start to see in the spirit what the Lord wants to do, because what happens is, the light, we need light to see. Once we see, we can do things. The light of God is His glory. The way that we see things in the Spirit is by the glory of God, because the glory of God is the light of God. You see that the New Jerusalem is lit by the glory of God. So the more glory that we can access, the more that we can see, and that's where signs and wonders happen because the glory is showing you what the Lord is doing in the Spirit. The glory is lighting what God is doing in the Spirit. And as you do exactly by faith what the Lord is doing in the Spirit, then it manifests in the natural. In other words, in other words, the Lord honors what he does by his glory. And because, let me, let me go further. The law of faith, whatsoever we believe for, we, we receive. Now, as I told you, when God gives you a word, a rhema word, which is the voice of the Holy Spirit, the word of God contains his faith to make what he says come to pass. When any time that God gives you a word, that word contains God's faith because God operates by faith and he has to make the word that he gives to you come to pass. So, when God shows us something that he's doing by his glory, okay, what we see him doing by his glory contains his faith and we access his faith and we immediately believe that what he's doing by his glory will be will be manifest in the natural so for example there's a difference between just laying your hands upon a person and just praying for them very little happens but when you see when a person says i have a cyst or i have a cut or have a back pain and before you pray you see God let me see by your glory what you're doing and you wait the key to seeing things in the glory is to go really 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 deep in the spirit if you want to function in the glory of God you must really walk in the spirit remember that the spirit is a bottomless ocean you are a diver you can go deeper and deeper and deeper into the 
bottomless ocean of the Spirit. So when you sink into the Spirit, when you dive into the Spirit, the more that you focus into the Spirit, the more that you see the glory of God light up and reveal the invisible thing that He wants to do. And as you see that thing, if God says, I want you to take your hand into that cyst, and as, and as you push your hand into her, I see an emerald of the glory of God forming on my on the palm of my hand. This, is, this happened today. So as I'm going to pray for the cyst in the glory, I see, I see God forming a, an emerald, a jewel on the palm of my hand. And that has the glory of God and the healing of God. And when I press my the palm of my hand into that cyst, I see the glory radiate into that cyst and start to dry it up. When I see that in the glory and I, and, and, and I release that, the miracle starts to happen. So the key, you need glory because the glory is the light. Without light, you cannot do anything. The light of God is glory. And glory is access deep in the Spirit of God. Very, very deep in the Spirit of God. You've got to get to a place in the Spirit where you suddenly start to see the things that God is doing in the heavenlies and function from that place. Then when you start to do the thing that you see God doing through you in His glory, then because God has, God releases His faith to make that work come to pass, you then access that faith and you release it and it comes to pass in the natural. Complicated, but you know what? I know that I'm on the right track. So the whole life, the whole Christian life should be one of functioning so deep in the Spirit that from moment to moment, the glory is on you. Glory is not just for a meeting. I believe that you can start to operate in a way that many, many times you are so in tune with the Spirit that the glory is, you always have access to the glory and you're seen in the Spirit. You're seen. Instead of seeing a light in this room and seeing what's happening in this room, the, the light of the glory of God is turned on and you're seeing what's happening up in the heavenlies. And many things that you're doing, you're doing from the room, from the heavenly place, from the heavenly room, and you're functioning in heavenly things. And that's where signs and wonders start. Okay, my friends, there's a lot more, but I have to go to bed. Happy Saturday. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, on a super busy Sunday. Bye-bye.